satisfies like you nothing else nothing else nothing else will do nothing else will do it doesn't matter Satisfied like you, nothing else will do. It doesn't matter what height we get or what measure of faith we attain. Nothing can take your place, nothing else will do. But you have put eternity in the hearts of men. Nothing can satisfy that. Nothing can satisfy us. Nothing else will do. Jacob's well will never do, so I will draw from you. This whole world will never do, so I will draw from you. Jacob's well will never do, Lord, I will draw from you. This whole world. You fill up that empty void. 
Only you satisfy. You fill up that empty hole. Only you satisfy like that, God. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Nothing else can satisfy. No one else will.
just told the Samaritan woman, if you know who was asking for water, you would ask for the living water. Water that never runs dry. Water that will satisfy you completely. Oh, if only you know. searching up and down for what you are going north, east, west, south. <laughs> oh, living water. Just one drop of the living water satisfy. Just one drop of this water satisfies. Just one drop of this water satisfies.
the deer pants for the water brooks. My soul runs after you. My soul chases after you, Lord. allow it. He's a jealous God. Allow him take you to that point with him. Oh, allow him take you to that point in him. Only Jesus satisfies completely. Only Jesus satisfies fully. Only Jesus satisfies completely. There's no other satisfaction anywhere else. Jesus satisfies completely. There's no other satisfaction anywhere else. Oh, let your eyes be open to know there's no other satisfaction anywhere else. Only Jesus satisfies like this. Only Jesus satisfies like this. Only Jesus can satisfy like this. He satisfies you to the point where you need nothing else and no one else only Jesus only Jesus only Jesus only Jesus oh it's only Jesus oh it's only Jesus it's only Jesus The living God is only Jesus. Son of the living God is only Jesus. He went to that cross for you and I. Is only Jesus. <laughs> 
that does stuff like that. <laughs> Only Jesus loves like that. Only Jesus gives like that. Only Jesus surrenders like that. He gives all for you. He gives all for you. He's willing to lay down his life. Allow him, allow him today. Allow him satisfy. Allow him, allow him today. Allow him satisfy. For he stands at the door and he knocks. If any man will open, I will come in and sup with him. If any man will open, I will come in and sup with him. If any man will open the door of his heart, I will come in and sup with him. For I am yours and you are mine. I am yours and you are mine. I am yours. I am yours. Oh, I am yours and you are mine. I am yours and you are mine. There's someone that does not feel, you don't feel like ah, Jesus has you or he has your time. You don't feel it. You 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 you, you feel like ah, this thing it doesn't work for me. Oh. Jesus just allow anything to happen to me at any time. It's as if he doesn't care. <laughs> no one can care for you like Jesus. Nobody. Nobody. Not even the mother that gave birth to you. It says, can the, can the mother forget her suckling child? Even if the mother forgets, I, the Lord, will not forget you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. And Jesus means every word that he says. He's not a man that he should lie. He's not the son of man to repent. He does not talk like men and talk and forget. No. Jesus means every word that he says to you. Every word that he says to you, he means it says, I watch over my word to perform it. He does not speak in vain. He does not speak in vain. Oh, he wants me to encourage someone today. Reflect on everything he has told you in the past. How he has walked with you through the storm. How he has walked with you through the fire. How he has brought you to this point. It could never have been your strength. Never. The fire would have consumed you. Even you know it. It could have consumed you if he did not care. If he wasn't bothered with your burden. If he didn't take you up. Till the day is 
Cast your cares on me, for I care for you. Cast your burden on me, for I care for you. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. And 
Jesus cares about the minutest detail of your life. He cares about everything. Oh, what needless pain we bear. And oh, all because we do not carry everything to
de mi atas ale sava kapati adus te ki barata ah shati da kapros ke vidi aparante kas ora te ke ke para si vi aten shata kapat banda kai va suvele kapat rakapa suve diana mas ay ala kabana kapata pas rokoto brandi kasi barata kapas Take up your cross and follow me. I don't know who this word is for. Take up your cross and follow me. rising and falling thing rise and fall today you don't have money because you don't have money and now depressed tomorrow when jesus gives you money you are joyous again take up your cross and follow me and following is not really anything more than yielding just yield you don't really have to know how to do it it's not by your strength in the first place just he says this is what you have to do just tell him okay i agree that's majorly what he wants to hear and you ride on the strength of the spirit it is not you in the first place he just wants to do it through you he's just using your body he's using you it's not your strength so what is the issue as i speak to us i'm speaking to myself what is the issue there's a song that was sung by two philosophers it says you are the spirit i am the body that's just what it is he's just using your body it's not your strength it's not your might it's not your power it's not your wisdom it has nothing to do the only thing he needs from you is your body he just wants to use your body
that exalts itself against the knowledge of my God, I pull you down. I pull you down, pulling down every stronghold that exalts itself against our God and against the knowledge of our God. Oh, we surrender. <laughs> Take your place. Oh, we surrender. Have your some of us, we delayed ourselves because we've been struggling with it. We, <laughs> we've been struggling. We've delayed ourselves. Thank you, Holy Spirit. save us. Our God will help us. For some of us, our God will heal us. For some of us, our God will give us the desires of our hearts. Our God will give us a good husband. Our God will give us um, admission. Our God will, but even if he does not, he doesn't change anything. We will still not bow to the God of this world. We are not following God because yes, we will all make him aware, but that's not the, that's not the priorities. We are not following God because we don't want to go to hell. We are afraid of hell. No. Some of us are beyond that level. It's not hellfire that is motivating us. <laughs> it's not hellfire. The fear of hell. No. We lo I love God. I ah, Jesus. I don't know. I don't know how to say it in English. I don't know. It couldn't have been anywhere else. I don't know. If I did this life again and again and again, it would be the same thing choose him over again because he first chose me. I will love him over again because he first loved me. So I'll just sing this song. It says, I know that you can save me. I have seen you save before. 
But if you choose not to save me, Lord, you are worth dying for. I know that you can save. I have seen you save before. But if you choose not to save me, Lord, I will still fall. I know that you can say, oh, I have seen you save before. But if you choose not to save me, Lord, I will still follow you. Oh, I will still follow you. I will still follow you. I will still follow you, Jesus. I will still follow you. I know that you can deliver. I have seen you deliver before. But if you choose not to deliver me, I will still follow you. How many of us have read that scripture and thought about what Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego knew that they would answer the king like that? Even if God does not save us, we are still willing to go. This this race that we are running, we are going to run it to the very end. How many people have thought? I don't know. When I read scriptures, I think about. I'm like, I don't get. What were they thinking? That one has gone beyond. It's beyond, I want to make heaven, I don't want to go to hell. No, they love Jesus unto death. Like, they did not think twice. Even if he doesn't save us, forget. It takes me back to what I said before. Stop letting your situation control your love for God. The day he blesses you, you are happy. The day you don't have, you are sad. The day it dawns on you that all your mates already have four children, you will lock yourself inside for two weeks. As in, as in, Jesus is done with that. It is time for babes to become sons. It is time for maturity. How long do you want to continue being a baby? I don't even know where I'm even going with all. I don't even know what I'm saying, but the Holy, I know what the Holy Ghost is doing right now. The Holy Ghost has taken this conversation up. How long do you want to continue being a baby? I know that you can help. Lord, I have seen you help before. But if you choose not to help me, Lord, I will stay. We're not saying God will choose that. I don't want to help you. No. It is just what Shedrach, Meshach, and Abednego said. That we know our God is capable. He can do this thing. This thing is nothing before our God. But in case he just says, I won't do it. It doesn't still change our mind. He cannot change our mind. He can't change my mind. I won't stop loving this God. I won't stop loving this God. Nothing that Jesus does or does not do can change my mind. That is the point that God wants us to come to. Come to the point of sonship. Come to that point of maturity. Stop being thrown about by every wind of doctrine. That's what scripture says. Stop being moved about by every wind of doctrine. They throw you here, you fly. They throw you here, you fly. Stop it. Oh, I 
God says that the one that the father chastises is the one he loves. So if he has chastised you this morning, it's because he loves you.
is time for sons to arise. It is time for sons to come to maturity. about Daniel when Daniel was thrown into the lion's den it's not like <laughs> it's not like Daniel had seen the fourth man in the fire yet though. it's not like I mean yes actually that was the fourth man in the fire but I'm talking of Daniel when Daniel was thrown in the lion's den it's not like he already knew that he was going to be saved it's not like he had seen God and God had promised him that okay as you're going to this pit don't worry as he landed, the lions could not eat him. The Lord had shut their mouth. Going back to Shedrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that was the fourth man in the fire. God showed up in the fire. For some of us, he won't show up five minutes to the fire. He won't show up two minutes to the fire. You'll be looking at the time. He's a minute to the fire. He will not. He's, <laughs> it doesn't look like this God is coming, no. It doesn't look like, but just in the fire, he shows up. In the fire, he just realize I'm not alone. The scripture says that when Shedrach, Meshach, and Abednego were brought out, they did not smell like smoke. So it wasn't as if they were close to fire. Not to talk of when people would tell them, when they te give their testimony and say we were actually in the fire, they did not smell like smoke. Part of scriptures that when I read, I don't know, it scatters my head. Sometimes he shows up in the fire, not two minutes to. Some people, yes, he shows up two minutes to, some five minutes to, some is in that fire. In whatever situation you are, your own situation, it's just trust him. Trust him. Trust him. Trust him. It is trust that will make you wait. When you trust God, it is trust that will keep you waiting in your waiting season. That you are not seeing it. Scripture says we do not see our signs. It's like we are not seeing this thing. Are you sure it will happen at all? I should change prayer point. It's trust that will keep you waiting. You can confidently say, I know. I know that this will happen. Job said, even though he slays me, yet will I trust him. Even in that fire, Job was still, ah, no. Men have walked this earth. Men have walked this earth. Job said, even though he slays me, ah. Job lost all his children, his wife, properties,
they were flesh and blood like us, human beings. Scripture says that Elijah was a man with like passions like us. He had anger issues. He had everything that you say you have, and they're calling weaknesses. The Holy Ghost is beckoning on somebody. Rise up, rise up, rise up. You have laid down for too long. You have dwelt on this mountain for too long. Stand up. Stand up. Dwell too says an army is coming. An army that has never been seen. And even after them, they will never rise an army like that. That army is you. Stop waiting for the army that is coming. There's no army coming. It's you. You are the one. I'm the one. It says they will not break their ranks. It's a season of manifestation. It's a season of manifestation. It's a season of possessing your gates, possessing territories. your feet. He's the one that guides you in the path of his will for you. Allow him guide you in the path of his will. He's the one who guides you in the path of his will for you. Follow, foolishly follow. <laughs> I 
I will follow you to the very end, Jesus, till I take my last breath on it, till I die. I will be found serving, loving, worshipping, praising, living my life, my 10th generation will serve only you. To my 20th generation, they will know no other God. Lord, like you said of Abraham, that I know Abraham, and I know he will teach his children after me. You will say of each of I know each of she will teach her children's children of me. says that things of the spirit are foolish to carnal men. Don't expect them to understand. Choose the path of wisdom instead. 